<laughs> oh, so this is like we can all come out from the car and then it will drive itself yes, to park. Yes, yes. I'll show you later. I will start from the really beginning. So yep. First of all, I'll show you the car. Okay, okay, okay. That's the round view car. Yep. With four cameras. Yep. One is here in the back. Yes. There's you one can camera see there. Here. Yep. We got two in each mirror. Yep. So just right here under the mirror. Oh, with the cleaning system as well. With the cleaning system. Yes, okay. Maybe. Yes, yeah. yes. It was also on the Shanghai Motor Show this year. Aha. Uh -huh. Also has a new function. And these are radar sensors? Yeah, but we don't use it here. Are these additional ones that you are installed? These are ultrasonic sensors. This one? We don't use it here. Okay. But these are, of course, ultrasonic sensors. Okay. Oh! And that's the fourth camera. Wow! Yeah. Uh, you guys reverse engineered this or? It's, it's closed when it's, when it's put off. Yeah, yeah. Closed, of course. Yep, yeah, yeah. So, so it flips in the, in the back. back. It's a series production. So in a series yes. facade, you will see in the back. Maybe you yes. See the, you see yes. 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 Yeah. So in each camera, I got a feel of 180 degree. Yeah. So this camera looks like this. This camera looks like this. You can oh. imagine that we can have a whole view around the car. Oh, on on my car, there is a s camera here, which and then another one on the other side. Which car is here? Uh, six series. Okay. So it stitches. The, the front. Yeah, that's what we also do here. Okay. Because we got some ranges. Yep. There are two information. One from this camera yes. and one from this camera. Yep. So we have to stitch it of course. Okay. We have to merge it together to look it perfectly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So with these nice. four cameras we can have a whole view of the of the vehicle. Yeah. Nice. If you want we can go in. It's a bit cooler. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's a Mercedes controller. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. Why? That came off a C class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's useful, you will see. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay. This is a very high tech German Frankenstein sure, of a car. Show you yes. What I want to show you first is our visualization here. Yep. So as this I told is you, so clear. we have a we have a, a view around the around the car, but not yeah. only top view, also yeah. maybe this view. Wow! And as you want, as you want. You have different options here. So if you park in a in a really quite close spot, you can have a close a clear look. Where are you standing? Is it if a space or not? So is this the one that BMW bought from you all for the seven series? Uh, from us, it's not implemented in BMW. Okay. BMW is using also ultrasonics. Yeah. Uh, we are just using garage parking the cameras without ultrasonic. That's the difference. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you can have a quite close look, and also. Yep. This one you already seen it. Yeah, uh, from the Mercedes. <laughs> you can. Uh, oh. You're really free oh. how oh. to handle it. You can do oh. circle in yep. this way, in that way. That's the first thing. The second thing is we also implemented some uh, can signals. So yeah. if I put in the brake, ah. so it's really live, it's real. Yes, oh. yes. Or if I so it's like Grand Theft Auto yeah. inside your car. <coughs> right. Okay. So and also the steering here. Like wow. If you have a look at the, at the wheels. Wow. So it's real. It's just like as you would see it from outside, yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. the target, I mean. Yeah. Yes. So. That's just a visualization and <laughs> to show you how Fantastic. the system really works, we Fantastic. will drive now to our garage. We've okay, got a garage. So, so all right. This is the difference between, you said ultrasonic and camera, is it? Is it the difference that you can detect everything in real time? Is it? Yeah, but that's just, uh, this view is just uh, wired cameras. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As you can see here, we also got some ultrasonic in this car, right. of course. Yeah. Every, yep. every new car got some ultrasonics. Yes. Right. But we use it just for a visualization. Okay. So it's okay. nothing to do with our function. Okay. Just for our visualization. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you are showing to us that the car understands, the, the cameras understands it, what, what it's looking at, right? The right. Pro I mean, even the proximity. It, make, it, it makes a difference between something uh, where it's able to drive and not and that's the point i mean how does it differentiate that because it's it just see, a camera it sees how high it is how it's not a radar no just just a camera this grid is just made by the camera so if it is a soft surface where it's undulation i mean it depends here it depends on the height okay if there's something soft which is one meter high yeah of course it will be blue okay right. okay so and to show you this garage parking i reset the whole grid yep and put in search active 
Okay. Search active means that from now on the system is searching for any gate or any garage. Yep. Where is it able to drive in? Like this one. Oh, it will search for it. it it's still searching. Okay. And if it's finding something, yep. it will give us a note. Just right now. Yep. Now it's saying, okay, you have to put in the neutral gear. Yep. And activate the parking brake. Okay. With this uh, process, yep. I'm able to start the parking. Don't do anything with my hands. I don't do anything with my feet. Is it neutral now? It's a neutral, but of course, behind it's controlling. Yep. You see it's moving. The car is moving itself into yep. the garage. Right. And here you can see. Yep. Are we okay in in the real world applic application? We're supposed to well, after it detects it, yeah. then you will get out of your car and then let it drive it itself. That's in, what we right? can do with the remote with the smartphone. Ah. I'll show you later. Cool. <laughs> it's already on Mercedes Benz, right? The right. the E Class and the Five Series, yeah, it's, right? It's working. Yep. So here you can see we finished it. Yeah. And from now, of course, you can't go out because yep. it's a bit close. So we just do the same reverse. Okay. And the car is driving back. Yep. And as soon as you're able to open your doors, yep. easily, yep. it will stop. I see. And these lines, as you can see here, are from the ultrasonic. Yep. So some distance information. Yep. Green, like more space, yep. yellow and red, quite close. Okay. So now it stops because we're able to open our doors. Wow. And the garage function is completed. Okay. And this whole function is also doable via remote. Yep. Um, we don't really have the time to show you that, but I will show you that with a remote, uh, with the drain parking. Okay, okay. So if you want, I would show you now the function drain parking. Okay. The new function. Okay. And in um, YGPS, all the parts I do here, you see it, is mm -hmm. recorded. So the car is actually calculating where have you gone from the initial position. Right, right. So it is able to go back there. Right. That's what you can see wow. in a few seconds. Okay. So I will just drive in manually. Yep. There I want to be in the in a garage. Yep. Stop the recording. Yep. And now with the same procedure, neutral gear, yep. electric parking brake. Yep. I'm able to follow this path we just recorded. I just drove Whoa. back. How far can it record? How far? Mm. You mean the distance? Distance from your initial How long is the recording? Say, for example, I leave my home and then I go to my office. Uh, that depends. I mean, it's GPS based. Yeah. So all the time there should be a um, constant and a robust connection. Yeah. Because we, we need a base station, of course. Yeah. That's yep. just a preview. So there uh, should be a connection all the time to the base station. So what does the train parking, how can it be applied in real world usage? So this train parking is actually just a preview of how it would be like. Yeah. Um, for long-term plans or middle-term plans, our goal is, of course, to do this function yep. just with radar Take sensors mm -hmm. and camera Three sensors. Okay. Oh yeah, just radar sensor and camera sensor. Yeah. And GPS information. That, that would be that would be um, applicable. Yeah. yeah. After you go to the office, wow. pick your wife. Wow. Wow. So and that's it's where we started safe. before. But it's going mm. <laughs> wow, that's really good. <laughs> that is just hold it. But this is already commercialized, right? It's on Mercedes and BMWs, right? BMW and Mercedes, uh, yeah, they put it in. Did, is, it from, is it from Continental? No. No, okay. Not as I know. Okay. Because as I told you, Continental or this system is using just the cameras. Okay, and, and radars. Um, all other systems, as I know, yeah. are using um, also ultrasonics. Okay. For example. Yeah. Just the camera alone yeah. can do this. I mean, wow. No, not this, not yep. the GPS based. Okay. But the garage parking. Okay. Yeah. Very impressive. So, and you also can see it here if it's finished. Yep. Yep. Done. You get a note finished. Okay. And it's in a garage, right? Wow. And of course, you can do the same thing just, mm -hmm. just backwards. Slide it. Yep. And do the thing backwards. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's coming back now. So. Yeah, this is what they're demonstrating now. Yeah. The car can park itself into the garage yeah. after dropping you from somewhere else and then it's able to park in or drive back out to f to if pick you, you up and all want, that. If you want, we can just go yeah. because we got a little lack of time. Okay, so, okay. Okay. 